This is number 59 in the technique packet underneath the big three called shifting exercises. Um, this, uh, this is on cello. Now this is basically practicing it being in third position. We're gonna be in third position for the entirety of this exercise. So you're not shifting. You've already, uh, if, if this were in a song, you would have already shifted. So you don't, um, don't move your hand around from the position you're already in. Now, I'm not gonna do repeats, but you will do repeats for this. So, letter A. So first off, we need to find third position. So basically it's where fourth finger is, but how do I know that's where fourth finger goes? Well, this note should match G, because this is G, right? This is fourth finger is G on the D string. And this is open G. If it's matching, they will sound really nice. If they don't, they're matching, they'll lock right in. You almost won't be able to hear the difference. So in letter A, we're crossing strings. Okay, so we're going G and then G string, and then we're gonna play G, open A, and then G, and then third finger. And it should sound the same. Third finger is the same as open A. They're the same pitch. So here's what it sounds like, letter A. Okay, now in letter B, we need to play third finger for A, and then go to open A, go back to A, go back to third finger, and then back to open A, and then fourth finger. Now notice this is B flat. Uh, the key center tells us these are flats, which is why we can use fourth finger here. Otherwise, we'd actually have to extend, use extended two, and then extend it four to reach B natural. But since we're doing B flat, we can use fourth finger. Here's letter B. Remember that third finger should match open A. Letter C, we're just basically playing all the notes we've just played in third position on the D string, so we're not going to the A string for this. Okay, and finally we have letter D. Now letter D is a tricky one. We have a lot of string crossings. Over top of the music you see the letters. The letters are telling you what string you should be playing on. So we start with fourth finger B flat, then we go over to the A string with one, go back to the D string with four, Third finger A, first finger G, then we go down to the G string, okay, and play fourth finger E flat, third finger D, and go back to the D string with G. Notice I'm gonna be leaving my fingers down. I'm not picking them up every time. If I'm crossing strings, I'm leaving my finger down for later. So like, for example, sorry about that. I'm leaving fourth finger down when I go over to the A string for D. Because I'm going to come back to it. There's no reason to pick it up. Here's what it sounds like. And even there at the end, I left third finger down while I switched back over to the D string. So that's number 59, definitely one to work on.